in the uh, previous videos, I, I would give you uh, something like this. Uh, I would give you a right angle triangle. Um, I would then I would then give you an angle, let, let's say 27, uh, and then I would give you one length, either this one, this one, or this one. Let's let's just choose one at random. Let's say this this one here, uh, this one here. Let's say eight meters. Um, I I would give you one angle and and one one length, and then from remember with a right angle triangle, you only need to know two things, and then you can work out you can work out this or this. Okay, so so normally I would give you an angle and a length, but now I'm going to give you two lengths, um, and then you've got to try and work out the angle. Okay, I, I will show you how to do this. Um, so here, let's let's call this um, this angle here. Let's call it theta. Okay, um, theta is just a Greek letter to just like when we use x to um, <clears throat> to try and solve x, try and find a number that would fit into x. We're we're going to call it theta. And then we've got to try and find a number that will fit into here in, in order for this tri triangle to make sense where, where the height would be 8 and, um, and the, 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 um, the length would be uh, 5. Okay, so, so we've got to try and find out the angle here, theta. So again, um, hang on, just, just bear with me and then it will make sense later on. So here the sun would be here and uh, our C would be down here. Um, so so you, you've got to decide. Um, which one to use, tan, sine, or cos? Okay. Well, um, this is in play. This is in play. So um, we, we're going to need tan because the hypotenuse is not in play. Uh, the only uh, the only option is uh, is tan. So so we need tan. Okay. Let's 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 do this um, one step at a time. Hang on. So we know is tan. So tan uh, tan the tan the angle. Well, we don't know what the angle is, so let's let's just write theta for time being. So tan theta equals eight over well, remember opposite over the uh, the uh, adjacent, so it would be five. Okay, we've got to try and work out uh, theta here. So uh, hang on. So now at the moment we are here. Um, the next step is to uh, bear with me on this one. We're going to Inverse tan both sides. Bear with me. Hang on. So, so we're going to inverse tan uh, both sides. Okay. Uh, so here, um, and then, and then inverse tan on this side as well. So we are inverse tanning both sides. Uh, okay. So it's like this. Now, this is the inverse of this. That means that they're they're, they're the opposites of, of each other. So um, it's like times and uh, it's like dividing times so opposites of each other um, and squared uh, squared and square root um, they're, they're opposites of each other so so this is opposite uh, to this one so so what's left on the left hand side would be theta and, and on the right hand side well it stays the same um, so if, if we want to know the angle then then we would work out this uh, we would work out this bubble here okay and then and then inverse tan. Um, hang on, bear with me. So now let me do it, and then you see. So here I would um, uh, hang on. I would get eight. R remember, every calculator is different, so your one will be pr pr will be different from my one. So eight divided by five uh, equals one point six. Now I'm going to inverse ten. Both I'm going to basically I've just worked out this bubble here. Hang on, uh, I've just worked out this bubble. That's one point six. Okay, so. So hang on, uh, equals tan, tan, uh, one point six. Uh, it, yeah. Now, um, so so this bubble here is one point six. Now I'm going to uh, inverse tan one point six. So hang on, let me clear it. So um, uh, no, normally this is a tan button normally, but I'm going to inverse tan. So I'm going to press inverse. Uh, hang on. Yep, can you see the tan changes to this? So um, I'm going to have 1.6 and then press this button here at in inverse tan. I will explain more more later on. Hang on. So it would be let's say uh, 58. So 58. Okay. So uh, uh, so, so sorry. Hang on. Hang on. Uh, so hang on. So this this on the left hand side it would be theta. 
Okay, this thing would become this, and uh, so theta becomes uh, what was it? Fifty fifty eight. Okay, fifty eight. So uh, w w when you press inverse tan one point six, it becomes fifty eight. So you know the angle here is uh, fifty eight degrees. Okay. Um, uh, so so on on your cal on most calculators it would be this. You've got this button, okay, tan, and on on my one I I have to press inverse this this inverse here. Um, so so when when I press inverse it it changes the tan button changes to this tan, and then and then to the power of minus one. That that means the inverse of this. So most calculators you you have to press a well. You, most calculators you have a, a tan button and then uh, a, a course button hang on uh, a course button and then uh, a uh, a sign button well th th somehow on your calculator you should be able to get to tan to the power of minus one you should be able to get to course to the power of minus one and sign to the power of minus one well the uh, these are inverse uh, inverses of, of, the, of these. Okay, so um, uh, some calculators will will use what's called arc. So arc sine, well, sorry, arc sine, but without the without the, the to the power of minus. Okay, they, they just use a sine, um, uh, and then they they would use arc uh, arc cos and and so on. Arc a tan. Like this. So if you want to know the angle, you, you would either use these buttons or these buttons. Okay. In the next video, I will give you more examples, and then it will make sense. But um, um, yeah. Uh, watch the next video. I will give you more examples.